This video is brought to you by Xfinity Celebrate Black TV. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Why are you doing this? I would have thought of all those brains you got. You would have figured out the game you're playing by now. Stay right here and I won't let anything happen. Fire. Will Packer knows comedies, <laughs> dramas, and definitely knows thrillers. I mean, I was I was really enjoyed this picture. How was it just to like get back to working with him? I mean, you guys are developing a pretty good work, working relationship by now, right? Actually, he brought this to this is how I met Will. He brought this to me uh, about seven years ago when um, uh, Terrence Howard and I first uh, hosted the Soul Train Awards, the first one. And he lived in Atlanta, and, and this was I think he had. The last movie he had done was Stomp the Yard. So he hadn't even become the Will Packer we know today. He was on his way. And so he brings me this script and he's like, oh my God, I just, every time when I got this script, I just thought of you, I envisioned you. And I was like, okay, well, let me read it. And we we were gonna go with myself and then um, have the bad guy played by a white actor. But we couldn't work out the schedules. Everybody we wanted, they were working. Ugh. So then Think Like a Man came along. And he was like, but I got something else for you. I was like, but I want to do no good deed. He was like, we can't right now, I have to do this. And so I did think like a man. And as soon as it was over, I was like, uh, so when are we going to start on our no good deed? <laughs> By that time, Idris had booked Mandela. And I get it. That's yeah. an actor's role, dream role. So I was like, OK, Idris, but you promised to do this film. And my son is about to go to college. And I had this money budgeted. I, I need this money. Please do this film. I cried. Yes, I played a single mama card. I did it all. But we got the movie done. <laughs> so, so the title, No Good Deed, no good and, deed. The, and the phrase, No Good Deed, goes undone. Is that true? Or? I think today, in today's world, unfortunately, you know, um, people are just afraid of themselves <laughs> yeah. and afraid of people. I mean, we just live in a in a world where we just make everybody afraid. You watch the news. You just, my, I remember one time my grandfather was sitting this close to the TV. Oh, no, no. I said, Grandpa, turn the television off. You're going to be scared <laughs> of your own shadow. Yeah. You know, so we live in a fear-based world now. So I just think yeah. it's well, I mean, really hard to get help from people nowadays. I mean, you were in distress, but you weren't playing the, the damsel victim. in distress mm -hmm. role. You was <laughs> you was all into it. I guess like the biggest lesson is never let a stranger in your house, even if he does look like Idris Elba, right? Basically. <laughs> <laughs> How was it playing those physical roles, though? Because I mean, you really fought back. It wasn't like you weren't weak. I mean, I seen something out of your character that. I normally don't see out of women that are playing these roles, you know, being changed. Yeah, and that's initially, that's really what attracted me to this role because I was like, wow, she's a fighter. She's sort of like my hero. And I hadn't seen a female um, portrayed like this since Enough. Remember with Jennifer yeah, Lopez yeah. or Sleeping with the Enemy, Julia Roberts, where the yeah. woman actually fights back and does not. You fight back even better, though. You're like, every scene, you're giving them something <laughs> yeah. back, you know, so. And that's what I love, because never once was she the victim. She realized she maybe made a wrong choice, and she was woman enough to to fix her wrong, to right her wrong, and she had to for her family's sake. A lot of surprises that we can't talk about that no. the audience is going to love. <laughs> but but working with Idris for, for this time, like, mm -hmm. uh, did did y'all have any chemistry that y'all developed? I know y'all y'all known each other yeah. probably off screen now, but how was that process of just working across from from him? Well, we have a chemistry. Uh, I mean, it's just there, and um, and I think what worked with this film is that yes, the chemistry is there as far as being attracted to each other, but we had to sit on that, and that's why those moments, that's why the dance was so powerful because. Chemistry was there. Are they gonna kiss? Are they not? Are they gonna hop in a bed? 
bed was girl get you some I mean you know <laughs> it's just it's right there on the brim you yeah. know but you gotta sit on it until he goes nuts <laughs> well, everybody's gonna love no good deeds and we're gonna be looking out for whatever you got coming up you, you know we always love to watch Taraji P. Henson. Yeah, I hope so <laughs> <laughs> thank you